tool say? Watch this video to find out the safety guidelines for this equipment. We're going to charge the battery in this car. That's different than doing an emergency boost. Make sure your head is clear to operate and personal devices or peers will not distract you. While charging, the key safety issues to look for here are ensuring that you do not create a spark near the battery. That's because a charging battery produces explosive hydrogen gas. On newer vehicles, we need to know about power keep alive procedures if we need to disconnect the car battery. That saves settings, for example, on a radio and diagnostic systems. Students should also be aware of the additional risks with hybrid vehicles, especially if they've been damaged in an accident. The high voltage battery system is more dangerous than a 12 volt battery. It can kill you. It's been an issue that emergency first responders now have to add to their knowledge at accident scenes. On older vehicles, just make sure that the ignition and all possible accessories are turned off. Review the manual for the charger you are using. Never have your positive and negative leads touch from the charger. Never bridge the two posts on the battery, especially with metal. Remove any jewelry, including rings or bracelets, before starting a charge process. Ensure you have your safety glasses on. Ensure all wire attachments to the battery are secure and not loose, which can cause malfunction or arcing. Make sure that the charger is unplugged and all controls are set to off. Inspect the charger wall plug for any damage and always use the actual plug to insert and remove power supplies. No pulling on the cord only. Know your positive from negative. Besides markings, you can also tell positive and negative from the size of the posts. Positive means more, they are the bigger ones. Negative or minus means less or smaller post. You may want to check the charging voltage. Make sure you are not creating a tripping hazard in the placement of the charger. Connect the charger's positive red clamp to the battery's positive terminal. That's the larger of the two terminals and the one marked with a plus sign. Then we need to find a suitable ground connection on the car. It must be a sturdy, non-painted metal component connected to the vehicle's structure, engine, or transmission, and away from the battery. Many people use the frame or engine block. Remember, it's different when you use a charger than when you are using booster cables. You don't put the other negative lead on the negative terminal of the battery. Check the existing battery voltage using a digital voltmeter. Ensure that it's not totally dead but shows some life. Turn on the charger to correct settings for voltage, rate, and time needed. We can verify that the battery is charged by testing its voltage with the charger turned off. Once it is charged, we have to plan to disconnect the charger carefully. First, make sure the charger is turned off and unplug it from the wall outlet. Then, disconnect the charger's negative clamp first. It's the black one. Lastly, disconnect the charger's red positive clamp from the car battery. Ensure that the battery cap covers are secure and that the top of the battery is wiped clean with a dry rag. Once you put the charger away properly, you're finished. Okay, let's do our tool safe review. Be sure you understand which are the positive and negative posts on the battery. Read the manual for your charger for proper settings and operation. Never bridge between the two posts on the battery. Never let the positive and negative ground leads touch of the charger. Test your successful charge and put away your equipment when done. And if you're not sure about anything for safety, ask your teacher for more direction. And don't forget to be tool safe. Thank <laughs> you.